Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to make some chicken and rice in the Instant Pot. So let's apply the pressure. I have a package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This one here is 1.64 pounds. So I'm just going to cut those into bite-sized pieces and trim off the excess fat and just put them in the pot with some rice. That happens to be jasmine rice, but <clears throat> I think you could use whatever kind of rice you want. That's just what I have. And I'm going to flavor it with some of this better than bouillon, but uh, you could also use just regular bouillon cubes or a box of chicken broth for that matter. And I think I'll put some uh, frozen mixed vegetables in as well. This better than bouillon is pretty thick, so I'm going to use four teaspoons of it and mix it with a little bit of warm water. I put four cups of water in my pot there and two cups of rice and um, see what else here. We'll get the mixed vegetables in there. That's two cups. If you don't like vegetables, you can leave those out and um, we'll get the chicken in there. I cut it into pretty small pieces and seasoned it with some salt and Johnny's seasoned pepper. And uh, we'll add the uh, better than bouillon that I mixed with a little bit of water there to thin it out. And we'll kind of mix it up a little bit. Get everything kind of all mixed together. And I get the lid on. I'm going to cook this on the rice setting, and that's automatic, so we'll be back in a bit. I just heard the pressure pin drop, so let's take a look at this. It smells and looks pretty good. Let me grab a plate and we'll try it out. Let's try this out. Looks like some pretty good cold day food to me. Everything looks like it's cooked well. I see the chicken flaking apart. That turned out really good. It actually took about an hour to cook on the rice setting, but everything's cooked well. The rice, the chicken, the veggies. And uh, the chicken and the veggies were partially frozen when I put them in there, so that's probably why it took so long. But anyway, turned out great. I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.